President Adam Abado on Thursday addressed the United Nations General Assembly where he reiterated his government's commitment to recover and grow its, its economy, transformation and consolidate democratic gains, to uplift the citizenry from poverty and secure citizenry livelihood. He vows to create new avenues to transition the Gambia into a prosperous, peaceful and stable nation. President Barrow also pledged that his government will continue to empower the over 60% of the youthful population. Mafuji Sisi again with the details in this report. In his keynote address to the 77th United Nations General Assembly in New York, President Barrow called for better COVID-19 preparedness while noting that the prevailing situation demands a new perception, approaches, and partnership with a renewed commitment and increased resources that equal to the scale of both current and emerging challenges to recover as a global family. Durable solutions that match the magnitude and intensity of the never-ending challenges remain the Assembly's greatest challenge. The situation calls for new perceptions, new approaches, and new partnerships, renewed commitments, and increased resource levels not equal to the scale of both current and emerging challenges to recover as a global family. We must monster the requisite courage and political will and take advantage of the opportunities that go with the global crisis. The outbreak of COVID-19 and the Ukraine and Russia war brought about global outcry, leaving many African nations blaming their failures to prepare for any challenges and provide for their people in any circumstances that may arise. The Gambian president said the current global food crisis triggered by the Ukraine-Russia war is a wake-up call for an immediate global response to alleviate the suffering and poverty that holds nations to ransom. As one of the hard-hit developing countries, the Gambian stands with the UN to find solutions for immediate relief. The current cost of living crisis across the world is a wake-up call to immediate response to alleviate the suffering and poverty that hold our nations to ransom. The global inflationary trends Food insecurity and the energy crisis compounded the natural disasters that continue to cause havoc around the world. The need for relief grows by the day, yet global efforts appear to be less and less effective. In this connection, my delegation fully welcomes the establishment of the Secretary General's Global Crisis Response Group. According to President Barrow, the Gambia has gone a long way from dictatorship to transition to multi-party democracy following a successful 2021 presidential election and legislative election in 2022, which has consolidated the process is gaining momentum. Barrow promised his government will step and strengthening the national institutions to sustain a robust democracy, their human rights, and fundamental freedom underpin national policies, programs, and development efforts. Gambia has come a long way from dictatorship and has transitioned into a true multi party democracy. Following the 2021 presidential election and the legislative elections this year, the consolidation process is gaining momentum. We will step up reforming and strengthening our national institutions to sustain a robust democracy where human rights and fundamental freedoms underpin our national policies, programs, and development efforts. As we prepare to end the current electoral cycle with 2023 local government elections, we are proud that the Gambia now multiple political parties and vibrant civil society organizations with a sharp rise in public participation in national affairs. The Gambian leader, whilst addressing the 77th UN General Assembly in New York, calls on the United States 
to call off the long-standing embargo imposed on Cuba. The reason being that global solidarity and friendly cooperation should define relations between member states of the United Nations. He also observed that Israel and Palestine relations need impetus for lasting peace and as people, the Palestinians deserve a state of their own. Hence, there is call for a fresh peace initiative that includes the revival of the Arab Peace Initiative. Barrow emphasized that Africa will continue to demand for its rightful place in the permanent membership category of the United Nations Security Council. Thus, the negotiations must produce tangible results. Mafuji Sise, I Africa News.